When everybody's living on windmills, ain't nobody worried about the wind chill. Cause to keep us warm, we got thieves and thorns and at least one evening. How's it going everybody? Wooly Man with Gaming here, back with another video. It's a Friday, so we're gonna do a Wooly Speaks again. I know I haven't been doing them on Fridays, but I've been trying to switch it up a little bit lately just to do something different. But let's just jump right into our topics. Today we're going to talk about the debate that happened on Monday or Tuesday, I believe. I don't remember exactly what day. And we're also going to be talking about YouTube's new hero system that's really, really weird and I'm kind of irritated by it. And lastly, we're going to be talking about a convention that will be happening on Sunday that I might be going to and I might meet a big YouTuber, so stick around if you want to hear about that. So our first topic is the debate that happened between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. And if you didn't watch it, I highly suggest that you look it up online. It was very interesting. And it kind of felt like both of them didn't really make key points that they should have made. And I support more of what Donald Trump says. And then I also don't. I'm kind of in the middle between both of them. But... I don't believe Hillary Clinton should be president because of her email scandal, which is ridiculous. That that she should be imprisoned for that. But that's just my opinion. If you disagree, just leave a comment in the section below, and I'd love to have a discussion about it with you. We can debate a little bit if you would like to. And I just think they should have hit harder. They didn't seem like they had the claws out. They were just kind of going back and forth. None of them was really getting to the key points about each other. I think... If they would have hit those points more, they might have swayed viewers one way or the other into voting for them or not. But I'm not running for president. They are. So they're going to do what they're going to do. And it's very important that everybody who can vote gets out and vote. I cannot vote. I'm not old enough. But I am very interested in politics. But if you can vote, get out there and vote. It's a big, very important thing. Less than, I think less than like 50% of Americans vote. And that's just ridiculous. Everybody should vote. It Everybody thinks that they're not making a difference when they really are. Our next topic is about the YouTube Heroes system that they recently implemented. It's almost like a reward system for mass flagging videos and flagging inappropriate videos. And I just think it's complete bullshit. Honestly, it shouldn't even be in place. With all the YouTube drama that's been going on lately, YouTube's just going to give more people an initiative to flag videos. They're going to be false flagging videos like crazy. And could you only imagine how that's going to interact with demonetization? Oh my god, people are going to go crazy on this. And I just think YouTube should not be trying to make a move like this at all right now. They are not in any position to implement this type of system. It's ridiculous in my opinion. If you are a YouTube hero, don't flag my content. I don't make anything that's inappropriate, I don't think. I mean, if you're under the age of 18, then I guess don't watch the games that I play that are rated M. But other than that, I just think it's, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And YouTube has tried stuff like this before in the past. It's just, it's not going to work. If you haven't already seen, they're also trying to make it into more like a social aspect of YouTube in the sense of communicating with other heroes. And it's almost like a level up system in a video game where the higher you go up, you get more rewards and you unlock different things that you can do. And I just do not think it's going to work at all. So I guess we'll see in the course of the next couple of months whether it works out and actually ends up being a good thing that flags videos that are inappropriate. But... You never know in this crazy world of YouTube. And for our last topic today, I would love to talk about, it's probably one of my favorite topics that I've ever covered because it's really exciting and I'm really excited if it's going to happen. I don't know yet, but there is a gaming convention happening in Arlington, Texas. If you, if you don't know, I do live in Texas. And I live uh, about an hour and a half from Arlington, or I'm going to be an hour and a half from Arlington. And... I'm really excited for it. It's a gaming convention called Retropalooza, if you haven't heard of it. It's pretty popular. It's still a small convention. But to me, the thing that's drawing me the most to it is the YouTuber Boogie2988. If you don't know him, I don't know how you don't know him. He does the Francis Rage videos. He just destroyed more Xboxes on YouTube than anybody else combined. And he is just a wonderful content creator and just a wonderful person. He's so just 
nice to his viewers. Whenever I watch his videos, it almost feels like I'm right there just talking to him. It doesn't feel like a video. He's probably one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, and if I get to meet him, that's going to be amazing. Let me know if you guys would like to see me vlog. I do have a vlogging camera that I can use. I just don't do anything interesting, so there's really no point for me to vlog. But just let me know in the comment section. I'm going to put this on Facebook also, so let me know in uh, the Facebook comment section whether or not I should vlog. I would love to vlog, and I probably will end up vlogging anyway, but I just want to know what you guys want to see. So that's going to end our Wooly Speaks episode for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And I will see y'all in the next video. Later.